Hi friends, this is Manish Pandey. Welcome back. Today in this video, I will show you how to connect your robot to orchestrator. I will show you how to set up your orchestrator to run your first job. And in this one, we'll include the updates 2022. I will show you the update which we got in UiPath orchestrator. Let me show you. Open any browser type here cloud.uipath.com and then it will redirect you to automation cloud page where you can sign up to create an organization i already have this one let me click on sign in with other account so here you will get this option to sign up and then you will enter the details to create your account in cloud.uipath.com so if you have not created your account in cloud so you can click on this continue with email you can enter the details here you can continue with your Google also with Microsoft you can enter the details here also and then let me so I only have this email ID and password so click on continue with email now here it shows that I already have this account created so try sign in instead click on that now this email ID I'm going to use to sign in, in into UiPath account let me enter the password click on sign in now we are on this page uipath automation cloud after signing up now here if you already have a organization created you will get here you just need to click on that to redirect to that page if you don't have you need to create a new organization so click on this you can enter the details here your name last name and then select country so i'm going to select here india and then it will ask you to select state I will select here Delhi and then click on next after putting the details you need to put the name of the organization that you want to create now this organization you will get here the name of this organization you will get here after cloud.uipath.com slash your organization name you can just put a name and then click on create now I already have that one so I will not create that one I will go back here go back here and I will select this one so you can see cloud.uipath.com slash uipath rp underscore org I will select that one so the first step if you are new to the orchestrator you will sign up into uipath cloud and then create an organization Now you can see here we are on the UiPath Automation Cloud where we can see here Orchestrator Services, Create New, we have Home, Studio, Apps, Automations, Ops, Admin. Now you are not getting here Orchestrator. Why we are not getting Orchestrator? Because we have not created a service. And how we can create this service? So before that we have to create a tenant. And what is that tenant? To know more about the tenant, you can go through my video which is available in the playlist. Now let me create on a new services for the orchestrator. Click on create new. So we are coming on this page, tenants. From where we can add a tenant. Let me add a tenant that is learning tenant. Learning tenant, I have this name. Now, if you want to assign a color to that, you can select here. And then here you can see by default, orchestrator will be assigned to this tenant so each tenant you will create will have the access to the orchestrator and these also if you select any of these services you will get that so let's leave as it is now click on save so this learning tenant will be now created here you can see tenant learning create operation started and after some time you will see that tenant created successfully after that once this tenant is enabled then you will get orchestrator left side here which will allow you to redirect to the orchestrator home page so you can see here now we have this tenant learning and these are the services that is assigned to this tenant so each tenant will have these services and this tenant is now enabled that's why we are getting orchestrator tab here now you can click on this orchestrator and it will redirect to the orchestra homepage. But before going to that, I'm going to show you here the new 
changes in this UiPath orchestrator that is new admin experience now what is that so this is the UiPath administration page here we'll see the changes here we are getting in the in the list like tenants accounts group these things now once we we'll enable this one we'll get in the tiles like in the box wise here you can see account groups license security like this we are getting here everything is here but this is showing in this way now here also we have this menu we can click on that and we can find everything here we have now orchestrator so we can click on this and click on orchestrator so it will redirect you to orchestrator home page now you can see here this is the url of this uipath orchestrator this is cloud.uipath.com after that your organization name then your tenant name which you are using to access this orchestrator and then slash your orchestrator now you can see here close this one now you can see this is the home page of this orchestrator now the next step to set up your orchestrator is create a folder here you can see we have tenant and by default it comes with a shared folder once you click on shared folder it comes with three users one is administrators second automation users and third automation developers so here we are going to start with the new folder so click on tenant click on folders and then we have this folder selected click on this plus and then here we'll put a folder name that is a learning folder something like that learning folder copy and paste here or you can leave as it is now here tenant package feed leave as it is selected now click on create now once we'll create here you will see here one folder that is learning folder click on that learning folder now right side you can see here in the users one user selected and this user that is uipath rpa which is we have created now after that we need to create a machine so in this folder we'll create a machine so click on this machines now you can see here we are not getting any machines here so we need to create a machine so click on manage machines in folder now here we are getting option to add machine click on that and click on a standard machine we are going to create standard machine now this machine name will be same as your computer name and how can we find our computer name you can first way you can open this command prompt and you just need to type here host name enter and this is your machine name copy that close this paste here the another way to find this machine name you have to open ui path assistant open this one and then you need to click on this user icon preferences click on preferences and then you need to click on orchestrator settings and then here you can see this is the machine name let me click on disconnect for now so this is the machine name you can see same name let me put here now if you want to put the description you can put here now scroll down and here you can see we are getting this uh, warning you can say a machine must have at least one execution slot allocated in order to assign in a folder so in order to assign this machine to a folder to this learning folder you need to put any number like one so at least one so we have this i i entered there one one in the testing also in the production also now click on provision once we'll click on provision and now here you can copy machine key to connect with your uh, ui path studio or ui path assistant also so if you want to copy from here you can copy or i will show you the the other way to copy that now click on close by default this machine name is selected here right which you want to assign to this learning folder so i want to assign this pande machine click on update once we'll update that now you see here it will be updated and assigned to this learning folder you will see here in few seconds now you can see here this is the machine name this has been now assigned and in this users we are getting this username 
the next step is to create robots so click on robots now you can see here we are not getting robots so how can we create robots so come to the folders and I'm going to use learning folder right so click on that click on this more actions click on edit and now you can just verify the details we have this user names your first name last name everything now come to this third number select this allow unattended robots to run automation as this users yes select that now click on next click on update once you'll update that it will create a robot you can see save successful we have successfully sub save that one now you can see here the robot type that is unattended because we created unattended robots here and now if you click on this robots you will see here one robot assigned to this you can see here the username that is uipath rpa account type local user robot type unattended now so we have successfully created tenant machine and robot now i will show you how to connect uipath assistant so we can find it from here from your tray double click on that click on this preferences click on this preferences again now click on orchestrator settings we have this option where you can just use this service url this will also allow you to log into this uipath orchestrator here also or if we have other option click on machine key select this url or like copy from here orchestrator copy this paste here now you want to copy the machine key so from here click on machines and then you will see here machine name click on copy now you have successfully copied that now go and paste in this machine key now after that click on connect so now it's going to try to connect this with your uipath orchestrator and this uipath assistant so we are getting here also and here also so this is the loading icon it's trying to connect with uipath orchestrator now you can see here here we are getting disconnect and here sign out it means both the way now we are signing into the uipath orchestrator and uipath assistant and the status which is green which is connected licensed now close this one and now currently if you see here we are not getting any process here because we just now created a tenant and just now created a machine we do not have any process assigned to this uh, to this machine or this robot now the next step if you don't have uipath studio installed you can click on home button and then from right side we are getting this download studio you can click on download studio which will download this uipath studio you can download and you can install that so i already have this downloaded now click on this and open uipath studio till now let me refresh this uipath orchestrator it's trying to create application window starting applications so we have successfully connected this uipath assistant so that's why there is no need to connect uipath studio with the orchestrator this is also by default connected now to create a new process click on process now you can put here let's say hello project or hello process and then click on create here you can see we are getting detected unattended robot because we have created a robot as a unattended now the folder that we created here in this ui path, path orchestrator which is learning folder now whatever process i will publish from UiPath Studio to Orchestrator, I will publish to learning folder. If you want to create multiple, you can create multiple based on your requirement and then those process you can publish to the specific required folders. So I have created this for the learning folders and whatever process I will create, I will publish to this, this process. So how can we make sure that whatever process we are publishing, whatever process we are creating that is directly publishing to this learning folder not shared folder so in this uipath studio here in the down you can see the option to select your folder we have shared folder and learning folder if you want to publish this process which you are going to create if you want to publish to shared folder you can select if you want to publish 
to the learning folder you need to select that one now I have selected that one now let me just create a small process which will just say hello now let me take a message box and I'm going to put here hello this is my first process now if you want you can run that you can see here we are getting this message box now if you want to publish this so what you need to do you need to click on this you need to click on this publish now once you click on this publish it will ask you to select your package name so this is the package name now the version is 1.0.0 and this will be the new version now click on next and here we have option that is orchestrator tenant process feed so we are directly going to publish this to the orchestra tenant so click on next and click on publish so because we have selected learning folder in the UiPath UiPath studio so it, this process will be this package will be published to the UiPath orchestrator under this learning folder now to see that package we need to click on tenant now here we have this package click on packages and now you see here one package that has been now published to this UiPath orchestrator now let me go to this this learning folders now click on automations now here we need to click on add process now select the package which just now you published so I publish this hello project select that one if you have uh, this file in your fold in your desktop you can just drag and drop also directly now the package version that is 1.0.1 .1. after that click on next then click on next here if you want to put the process display name like hello project the or like the first hello project something like that you can put or you can leave as it is if you leave that so project name will be used as a like hello project if, if you want to put the description you can replace the description here if you want to put the tag also based on your process based on your business based on your department you can put the tags also you can add multiple tags and now click on create now we just now added the process in the folder now if you want you can start now from here or you can add the trigger let me close that one if you see here if you open this UiPath assistant you will see here this process is now available that is hello project and is awaiting install it means this has been published to the orchestrator and we can install it we can run it from here you can just click on install and then let me click here and now you you can click on this and it will run that package here you'll see here this message we are getting so by this way you can run this process from UiPath assistant or UiPath studio we can connect our robot to the UiPath orchestrator we can set up orchestrator we can create machine you we can create robot thank you so much for watching this video if you want to learn blue prism please visit my youtube channel youtube.com slash blue prism rpa and also if you want to learn blue prism from udemy and you want to get certificate you can search for my blue prism course th there that is blue prism rpa complete course i will also put the link in in my video description you can go through that there thank you